Hey everyone. doing a transformation video and we're just gonna go from basic to just before we start I'm going to just tell you the products I'm going to use it's definitely going to be these two foundations here from L'Oreal it is espresso and copper I'm going to combine the two to give me a, a shade and then for concealers, I'm going to use this three. I don't know which specific one I'm going to use, but it looks like I might just use all three of them. This one, cocoa is orange, caramel is much lighter, and then honey is the shade that I used here. And then for contouring, I'm going to use then also L'Oreal, and then um, this is in the shade 240 um, Espresso. That's the one that I'm going to use for contouring. And then for the primer, I'm going to use this primer here, also from L'Oreal. So my whole base will definitely be L'Oreal inspired products. We're going to start off with eyeshadow because I don't know what look I want. And that usually takes about the longest. And then we will then go to the face, which makes the process a little bit easier. So, And then I'm also just going to go in with this um photo focus eyeshadow primer i haven't used the primer in a while priming is usually good for people with like oily skin and oily lead Using a very light base is the one that works because you don't want to put too much product because you also don't want it to crease. And usually, if you put too much product on your lid and you don't wipe it on immediately, it will just crease. So you don't want to do that. I'm going to use the Huda Neon palette from Huda Beauty. And I'm going to start off with that pink at the outer corner of my face. That usually works and gives me good direction about where I want the look to go. I think I'm gonna just keep it there. Maybe let's try and do something like a foxy eye type of look. So I'm gonna keep the pink just here at the outer corner. I think I like the way that looks. I'm then going to go in with the exotic nude from Signature and I'm going to use that shade there to just set the the, the lid the rest of the lid space because I figured out what I want. And that color is robe. It's a good nude that will blend that blends in very nicely with this pink. And I'm going to go in with the shade Naked and just blend the top part right under my brow. It's a much lighter shade and it looks like that. And um, this palette also has the shade Mood, that one key there. It looks a bit purpley on there and looks very brown here. And I'm going to use that one to just blend here <laughs> 
because I want you to be able to see the pink and then the darker transition shade almost in between. I'm going to blend the two colors here at the top. See how it's already making my eye look. Look at the difference. I'm going back into Nude in the Signature Palette. I'm going to go in... Do I want to go into the pink? I think I'm going to go into the pink and see if I cannot just put the pink here. And then that's the eye. Then I'm going to go in with my gel liner from Signature and I'm going to use an angled brush. A small angled brush and go in, take the shade black and right, right here create a line. there for now I'm going to leave this eye just like this now we're going to do the other eye same story already primed blend it out i'm going to do it a little bit different from the way that i did it before i'm going to set my entire lid both naked all the way to my eyebrow the other eye was trial and error. Now we've figured out what we want. Now we can find a more efficient way to do the, this. Method. Now we go with the pink. my entire patience <laughs> oh wow that took let's breathe okay now it's done I'm going to put a bit of mascara I think with this look I should have actually done my base first because now I feel like I'm going to ruin all this work from all the things but we're going to try and be as careful as we possibly can yes. oh, I did it, the coffee. okay now let's go into the found uh, the face the base
I'm going to conceal. I'm going to go in with cocoa first because you can tell I didn't really put a lot of product here in the center. I'm going to let my concealer do the rest of the work. Use a blending brush. And I'm going to just carefully blend the product. As you can tell, I'm blending downwards, not even like this. Because I'm going to put a bit of concealer again in here. So. I'm going to go on top of that concealer with a little bit lighter concealer and because I really want the inner corner area to be light and now I'm going much closer to my lid space Same brush that I used for the other concealer and just the lens. If you think your brush has a lot of product, just close by, always have either a wet wipe or a towel that you can use to wipe off done and then of course contour Now we're going to set. I'm going to use the Gosh Prime and Set Powder. I'm going to put it on my cap here. You use the Beauty Blender and set. setting it this way only because I really want the inner here to like be lighter than the rest of the, the face so I'm going to go in with the brush and then pet and then set the rest so I'm baking here but not the rest of the face. I already put so much product here, so I'm going to use from what is here and just drag it across. I'm 
I'm going to take my beauty blender and do a reverse contour thing here on the side. Then I'm going to go in with Pecan from Maybelline and my angled brush and just set the contour. This is not such a deep um, powder. This is very close to my skin tone type of powder. So I'm just setting it all over including the areas of my contour and then wiping away the excess powder now I'm going to go in with the uh, super stay full cover powder foundation and that one is much darker and it's cooler and I'm just going to literally concentrating on that bone there pressing it in I need to make sure it works I don't know if it's showing up on the camera but I'm using this nude shade from that nude shade from elizabeth arden and i'm just applying it on the lower lid in my waterline <laughs> i did it i did it the trick is literally to go into the waterline and just drag down when you got your fox look Okay, let's dust here off. Okay, so final look is totally done. And I literally wanted the hair pulled from the face because I don't want too much in the face because I really like this look and I want it to be the center of attention. And I feel like this look looks really cool and it's so cute and I feel I did the fox eye thing. Oh, guys, you can tell. Yeah, you're gonna be sick of me now. What is that TikTok thing? Because this year is gonna be one of those looks like I'm gonna just try and make give myself a fox eye for no reason all the time. But this is the final look. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I really enjoyed this process. It took me a long time to figure out, but I'm glad I figured it out and it looks really cute and I really love it. I must just sit here and like take pictures now. Oh. Mm. I feel like it's so old school for some random reason. I don't know why I feel like it's so old school. Like maybe it's the hair also, but yeah. Oh. Yes. Anyway, hope you guys really enjoyed this. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Beauty videos.